Good evening everybody. Thank you very much for joining in. This side Rahul Magan here as a Chief Executive Officer of Treasury Consulting LLP. And today we would be covering a video which is dedicated to Trade Order, Trade Order Management Solution. This is TOMS. So we would be covering this video from two perspectives. Perspective number one, we want to introduce you that how a particular product, example Murex and Calypso, they perform. Because the upcoming product is, uh, we would be covering of Murex. And purpose number two is that we would be covering, uh, we wanted to let you know that uh, Treasury Consulting LLP is starting the development of its own product in financial market. Of course, we know that we are not as big as Thomson Reuters, we are not as big as the Bloomberg or maybe Murex or maybe, or maybe Calypso. But yes, uh, even the best journalists in the world have started with a single step. So we are starting up with our with with product, which is the FinTech Academy of Treasury Consulting LLP is starting up with this product. And currently our endeavor is that we would be able to make a good product uh, which would be covering the front office. And uh, then we would be covering, we would be link this with uh, the back office, which is accounting and all. So in that regard, we would be, we would be covering a topic which is Trade Order Management Solution, which is TOMS. If you carefully see the heading that you will get a very beautiful term, which is very good. Although, because as you know that as the time would pass, we would be covering a lot of videos about uh, uh, Murex, lot of, a lot of videos about Calypso and all. So there is a very beautiful term which is Trade, life, trade Cycle Life Management or Trade Life Cycle Management. Unfortunately, in the countries like India or many countries, we tend to believe that you have taken a trade, job is done and especially the corporate sector. So what corporate sector does is that, okay, you have taken a trade. If you are an exporter, say Cognizant, if you are an importer, say Reliance or LNT, you have taken a trade, you have put this in your books, you calculated the m m accounting, which is mark to market accounting, could be US GAAP, could be IFRS and, and, and might be INDAS, then job is done. But tactfully speaking, uh, trade life cycle management is a very important term from a bank's point of view. Example to whom you are taking the trade. They need to run the complete cycle, the complete trade management cycle. They need to first put it in their system. Then at every day they need to calculate what where the PNL look like. Then if it is an option contract, they need to see the where the Greeks where the Greeks are, which is delta, gamma, vega, theta, pi, RHO. And if it is a forward contract, then they will convert this forward contract into an option contract. And they will calculate the Greek and based upon that, they will take a simultaneously position so that they don't end up in the losses. As a corporate treasurer, did you ever thought you have a forward contract? And in this forward contract, you are having a big gain. Your gain is a banker loss or banker gain is your loss. So you have a big gain and banker is in a big loss. Did you ever thought that at the end of the day, bank will never end up with the M2M losses? The reason here is they convert a forward into an option contract and based upon that option contract, they will calculate the Greeks and based upon that Greeks, it could be Delta, it could be Vega, it could be Theta, it could be PHI and based upon that, they, they will take the position. So derivative uh, life cycle management is a very important stuff. Let me tell you, it's a very important stuff or a very technical stuff, but unfortunately, that is getting least discussed in India, very least discussed in India. So in this and uh, whatever we are coming covering here, this will give you an idea of how the product of Treasury Consulting LLP would look like in the near term. Uh, hopefully we are starting up our product by end of March, the uh, coding and everything will start by end of March. Of course, uh, we need to do a lot of research in that and the research currently is going on and myself is having uh, almost uh, <coughs> seven seven and a half years of work experience in Thomson Reuters almost good amount of experience in the Bloomberg also and I myself saw Murex also how Murex is working in Singapore how Calypso is working in Singapore how you can integrate Murex and Calypso with your ERP so that we all aware of in fact we are very soon starting up with our uh, training facilities also in Murex and Calypso so keeping everything in mind this is what uh, could what would be the schema of the product now the schema would be the number one would be the trading. Now trading the number would be SCF which is swap execution facilities. Then would we have OTF which is organized trading facilities. And then we which we, we would have the voice trading. Example like in the OTC market you call to somebody and uh, he will pick up your phone and then you will book the deal. If you are an exporter you would be cognizant. If you are an importer you would be reliance or LNT. 
covering this swap execution facilities and and organized trading uh, or organized trade organized trading facilities i would like to read a simple uh, but a little technical paragraph to explain you that now in this it is that in such an environment sorry in a current environment a high performance business in swap execution facilities over oblique organized trading facilities space will be one that provides a participant a broad choices of products which not only attract a large amount of market makers but also increase the capacity this is beyond submitting orders like bid and ask and might include mid swap as well the real time expect are critical for ensuring the best services and the prices for the client only large player with the existing client base can provide the kind of service and prices example murex example caribso you have uh, numerix you have uh, there are a lot of products you have uh, you know lot which i cannot spell right now in the current uh, market proxy for the scf which is swap execution facilities or the ota which is organized organized trading facilities can be split into two distinct parts the inter dealer market such as icap GFI, BCG partners, and traditionally direct-to-direct -direct market like TradeWrap, Market Access, and Bloomberg. All of these players are aiming to register their current economic platform as SCF and then also OTF under the European regulation that comes into the force. So the first uh, platform of strategic consulting LLP product would be covering the swap execution facilities and and would be covering the OTF and would be of course the voice trading. these two will help us to sync with amir you know because uh, amir is nothing but i would say a european version of dot frank so this two will help us to connect with amir and that is our intention because our intention is to sell the product in us and european market so we need to be very clear that we need to we need to have all proper uh, guidelines of dot frank in our in our product and also the amir then we would be have second line of defense which is front office in the front office we would be covering everything we would be covering spreads we would we would be covering order routing stp which is trade to processing we could be covering aggregate risk aggregate risk could would be individual gap limits could be aggregate gap limits could be nop limit net overnight position could be nop net overnight open position then we would be covering real time pnl real time m to m this is where there is a little constraint that our product is as per ifrs of course i am not saying that ifrs is far different than us gap but this is mostly ifrs then we would be covering the middle office in the middle office we would be majority stress stressing upon dclm which is derivative life cycle management in the derivative life cycle management we would be covering everything about a derivative like you have taken the contract you have taken the books then you would be covering m to m then then you you would be covering the reclassification adjustment if it is a fair value hedges and then so on so on covering everything and then of course stress testing in case you are a bank because don't forget doshe is having 30 to uh, 42 trillion euro which is on the brink of collapse jp morgan chase city aig you just name the bank and you will get to know about that our fourth line of defense would be clearing and settlement system here we will try and link our product with the euro clear which is the largest trade or largest settlement facility of the globe euro clear although i'm not sure about that as of now although now i'm not sure about that i would be able to do with the euro clear or not but my endeavor would be to do with the euro clear and then we would be also linking with ccp which is central counter central center uh, central cent uh, central uh, clearing party and we would also include the scope of tri patriot repo and then we would uh, try and make our product in such a way that all the four line of defense which is trading which is front office which is middle office which is clearing and settlement we would be able to link this with the enterprise resource planning here would be a little constraint example we would try and have scp and oracle and of course we are currently not going with jd edwards ramco and other systems and then finally we would link this with the majority of the products but not all the products because you very well understand that derivative market is very big it is ex big exorbitantly big right so we cannot every a startup company in its product cannot be able to cover everything but here we would be covering lot of products 
we would be covering forward options, payoffs like range forward, seagulls and all. We would be covering swaps, reverse dollar swaps. We would be covering overnight index swaps, credit risk management, interest rate derivatives, M2M accounting. Here we would be focused majority on the IFRS. So this is the purpose of the video is to just to let you know that uh, very soon Treasury Consulting LLP is coming up with a product which would be trade life cycle management which would be a derivative trading cycle in this we would be covering each and every aspect of the game and we would make, make sure that uh, at least from the Indian and the Singaporean context we would be able to make up a product and we make sure that the, our product although we acknowledge that our product would not be as big as Murex and Calypso because they, they took more than 25 years to reach at that level. But yes, we'll make sure that our product would uh, have a lot of uh, indifferent stuff which uh, both Murex and Calypso do not have. With this, I would like to thank you very much and uh, you have our website www.regiconsulting.in and my mobile number is 9899242978 My Skype ID is Rahul5327 and my email id is rahul.magan at the rate tragiconsulting.in if any any foreign institutional investor or any company who is watching this video they can contact us in the product development we are helping few companies here across asia pacific level in terms of in terms of in terms of product development so if you have a product and you wanted to, to get it developed you can contact us or if you wanted to be our partner in terms of product development, you are most welcome. So both ways things are possible. With this, I would like to thank you very much for taking your time. And next video would be a video dedicated on Murex. Thank you and have a great time.